Follow me and Juliet for part one of the Traus Iriri bikepacking route. It's 200 kilometres of roads and gravel through Snowdonia National Park. We'll be camping and of course finding the best wild swim spots along the way. Hi! Hello! <laughs> hey, there's Juliet! <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. We are doing the Tros Iriri, or that's what we're calling it anyway. We might be saying it wrong. And we're currently in McCuncliffe, which I might also be saying wrong. This is gonna be said a lot, I think. So I'm gonna to try to avoid names. But anyway, we're bike packing. Here's my bike. And there's Juliet's. And we're bike packing for what's going to be four days. We do have a train booked back for Thursday evening and it's currently Monday. We have had a nightmare. It's been one thing after another. I nearly didn't make it because my van nearly broke down on the way and I had to sort that out when I get back. And then Juliet's van nearly broke down. Then we had to have a rush into Aberystwyth to go to a bike shop today um, to sort out Juliet's bike because her gear button thing on the electric thing got pushed the whole way. And so that was run out. But anyway, we're here and it's like, you know, midday. <laughs> but we, ha we haven't got that far to go. We've got like 30 miles or something today. And we've called ahead to the campsite to let them know we're coming. I actually cannot believe I'm on my bike. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, off we go. <laughs> this is so pretty. We're just riding through these lovely little villages on these tiny, tiny country lanes. It's lush. Wow. And there's so much forest and big hills in the background. It's lovely. I've just been through the Ford. Now it's Juliet's turn. <laughs> Made it. This is stunning. We're riding along the bottom of this valley on a little like off-road lane in between the mountains. It's lovely. This is so beautiful. And I saw a heron. So through there, is that giant lake that you could see on the camera before. And we just had the do we don't we swim. And then we just spoke to this lady and she was like, oh, it's really nice. So I was like, okay, well, we still got 17 miles to go. So let's check the map. And I reckon there's a lake near our campsite where we can swim. So we're gonna wait. We are going to be sensible. You can go in if you want. <laughs> I know, Juliet's terrible. She's like, you can go in. Go on. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. We'll, we'll do it later. Oh my god. <laughs> We're doing this really cool add on bit where you come down by a little village and then the road that you could take is over there to the castle. But we're doing this super cool little single track. It's well lush. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Ooh. bit was so fun we reckon though it probably wouldn't be so good in the winter or if you're not very confident on a gravel bike look at this 
clouds look a bit grey. Mm. We've got a seven kilometre hill climb to do. So Juliet's gone ahead and I'm just gonna take my time. <laughs> we done some climbing. We were down the valley. That is a long, hard climb. I don't think it's finished. <sighs> I bet Juliet's thinking, where is she? <laughs> what is she doing? Wow, look at this. Oh. Long climb. We made it. <laughs> we made it to the top of the hill and then collapsed and ate jelly babies. Juliet was 10 minutes ahead of me. So quick. <laughs> We've got a little bit more climbing now and then basically a really long descent back down towards our campsite but there is that lake on the way so i don't know if we'll maybe stop then no it's like really close to it though oh, okay. um so i guess we'll have a look and see We've just come out of the last climb and look at this. There's Barmouth and this is down where we're going and they've got what looks like an awesome descent to come. I'm excited. Oh, it's stunning. It's amazing, isn't it? With like the beach and the mountains. Absolutely brilliant. Oh. I am a happy woman. Oh, oh my gosh. We've just come down to this most amazing lake to see if we can swim. And there's a really cool little boathouse. That is amazing. I was just saying, I think I've seen this lake on Gone Fishing, which is one of my favorite TV shows. But it's one of those places where they would not say the name. So I guess I'll never know. This is the other lake. And it's gorgeous, but again, it's really shallow for ages. So I don't think we can swim here, I'm which is so sad. Sorry, no oh, yeah. <laughs> Juliet's being good and she's like, oh, there's signs. Well, you can't go flouting the law and then putting it on the internet. <laughs> Do that all the time. <laughs> Only when it's swimming. <laughs> You've got to flout something. <laughs> right, let's keep going. Let's find our campsite then, shall we? We've just come out onto the Mordach Trail, which follows the estuary all the way up. It's beautiful. Oh, it's stunning. The only thing is, we do have to look out for the gate for our campsite. We've made it to our campsite. Yay! Hooray! Whoa. I feel a bit tired now. Oh, yeah, me too. Oh, nice. So we're staying at the best campsite. It's so good. We walked up to the top of the hill and they've got this really nice shop and the lady in there was so lovely and the man before was chatting loads and we were like, oh, we're waiting. And then we were like, oh, she's so lovely. We're chatting too. 
And then of course there was people waiting outside. <laughs> we did exactly the same and they have lilt in there and another water bottle because I swear my dog Monty, he's only a six month old puppy. I'm pretty sure he's eaten my hydration bladder and bit a hole in the bottom of it when I was packing my stuff. So I've only had one water bottle all day, which has been quite annoying, but problem resolved. And tomorrow I will pack my bike so much better because I had this much stuff in my saddle pack and it comes out like way further. So I just carried it all on my back for no reason, but ah, never mind. Tomorrow's a new day and I'm sure I'll do it better. We've had a lovely night at the campsite but the midges are getting a bit much. So most people have gone into their tents. I've got my hot chocolate before bed and I've just come down to look at the view down here. It's so lovely. I feel like we've been incredibly lucky today because we've had such bad luck the last like yesterday and this morning with all the things that happened and at one point it just seemed like we weren't going to do anything or make it anywhere so we've been so so lucky and really enjoyed today the riding was really good um tomorrow looks like a good day we've got a mixture of road forest and open moorland there's um quite a few big climbs two big climbs really so we'll see what those are like and then we've got a campsite booked again tomorrow and there's a pub everyone keeps talking about um the foxes something so we might go there or we might buy wood and have a fire um we haven't really decided what we're gonna do yet so we'll find out tomorrow but i'm really looking forward to it we're off started day two back onto the I think it was called the Mer Ditch Trail or something. Back along the estuary till we hit the toll bridge. Wow. We just crossed the toll bridge and the man said, it's a bit of a bump. Whew. There's more than a bump <laughs> up this climb. <laughs> it's meant to be seven kilometers. Juliet's Garmin tells you how long they are. I'm not sure I like that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> lovely we've climbed up on the road now on the gravel track through what looks like the start of the forest and surrounded by these peaks that are gorgeous so lovely there's nobody up here at all I think it's gonna be a great day this climb has been going on for ages and I haven't seen Juliet from the start so I really hope we're both going the same way <sighs> it's nice though but it doesn't look anywhere near as good on camera as it does in real life I found Juliet, made it to the top of the climb, eight jelly babies, eight protein bar, and we are being eaten alive by midges. So we're going, that's it. We are heading down to Cody Brennan Cafe. So I think we're gonna have a cup of tea stop. Oh my God, I have a smidge on, I can't believe this.
So here we are at Cody Brennan Trail Centre Cafe. Uh, we've done actually half of our miles today already. We've only got 15 point something left. We've got one mega climb, not quite as long as the climb that we've just done. And then basically we're going around the lake into the campsite and there's a really nice pub that we want to go to that we've heard so much about. So I'm gonna have some food and snacks and we're having a cup of tea before we head off. We're in the cafe and we've got tea and there's birds everywhere. <laughs> right, so on the cycle path 82, gravel all the way it looks then later on we'll join onto a Roman road. But we've got an almost equally as long climb as what we did before. So I'll put my head down and crack on with it. Juliet's gone, long gone. <laughs> We found a tricky bit. <sighs> that bit's easy. What well, Juliet's coming up now. But look at this. <sighs> You're gonna give it a go. Hell yeah, I'll give it a go. Just going around the outside. Ah! Yeah! Oh, good attempt. Well, we decided once you join on to San Helen, it really doesn't matter which way you go or which bike you ride. It's just wetter you're going to have to push. It is what it is. We think this is our reservoir that we're cycling around before we go back slightly on ourselves towards our campsite tonight. Um, so it doesn't look like we've got far left. Like I say, it was only 15 miles anyway from Cody Brennan. So, uh, Shouldn't be too long. Nice. Well, we're at the lake and it's really windy and it's it's okay. <laughs> we were just saying, I think the problem with this reservoir is we've got such nice places at home. And I mean, like the backdrop of the mountains is good. But otherwise, it's a bit dull. Not the best bit. It's been a good day overall though. And we've got that pub tonight. So that's really something we're looking forward to. Oh, this is grassy. Isn't it? This is that little sharp bit on yeah. the garments. We went from the road and we were complaining, weren't we? Saying how boring it was. And then... <laughs> Aren't we terribly <laughs> spoiled? We are, yeah. And then we've just done like the punchiest little gravel track and it just keeps going. It was so random and unexpected, but actually it's much nicer than the road. The views are good too. Yeah, it's because you can't see the horrible hydroelectric power station or whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, it's not the best looking. <laughs> We've forgiven the route for going that way because actually it turned out to be really, really fun. If a little bit techy. I think this is the decommissioned nuclear hydropower place. It's so ugly. It looks like 
Oh, what was that place where they had the giant nuclear accident? God, oh, in Ukraine, it almost looks like that. Well, for all my complaining just now about nowhere to swim, we found this spot, which doesn't look perfect, but I'm going in regardless. Juliet's feeling a bit chilly, so she's going to skip this one. I've just been in, and it, actually it's not cold. It's um, quite lovely, really. It's a bit stony to get in. In Snowdonia, you get a lot of the military planes coming over because it's where they do their flight practice to go in between the mountains. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, silty bit. <laughs> oh, finally, some water. So pleased. My balance is restored. I've been in lukewarm water. <laughs> out in nature oh I needed that so bad so here we are at tonight's campsite and we've got the tent set up already we're at camp station I think it's called and then we're gonna to go to the red foxes pub because everyone raves about it on the Facebook group here's my tent all set up looking nice and cozy for tonight so let's get ready to go for some food if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content.